got some aerial footage that we can show of uh, what this place looks like. And that's maybe the thing that people are missing. I didn't know, actually, until I came to announce this race for the first time in 2008, how crazy Daytona is. Even if you've been to NFL stadiums, it is nothing like going to a super speedway. No, 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 no. It's, uh, I mean, you can see these, I mean, such a cool place. I love aerial shots of, uh, of Daytona International Speedway and Daytona Supercross. I mean, you can, you can see there. We switched up the track a little bit, uh, made it a little bit shorter. Um, I think that it worked out great. Uh, for the pro supercross, and I think it's working out great for the amateur supercross. We didn't really, uh, other than tweak the jumps a little bit for the amateurs, we didn't even have to change the layout of the track. So uh, that was important. So they feel like they get to run and ride and race uh, the same layout as the pros did. So uh, that's cool. And it's just, it's just a special place. And uh, man, was it rough! You can see the pits there and the garage areas on your screen. Uh, it's a great facility. You know, for parking, you're not getting dusted out. Uh, <laughs> you know, the uh, with the Halifax uh, uh, Emergency Center here on site, uh, that's second to none mm -hmm. compared to any other amateur track that we go to, a pro track for that matter. Yeah, for yeah, really. Mo for the most part. <laughs> so uh, all those things add up. Yeah, I mean, uh, you could pit out of the same garage as NASCAR teams use. Yes. We had a riders meeting at Victory Lane yeah. where... Dale Earnhardt Jr. was celebrating two weeks ago. You yes. get the full experience. Yeah. You're an amateur motocrosser, and you basically get the NASCAR thing right. two weeks after they do it. Well, it's funny. I'm, I'm glad you said that, and that's what it that's what it's about. As much as it's it's a race, it's an experience, you know, for us. I I think you know when when everybody leaves here, I, I want them to hopefully leave safe. And when they left, thinking, man, I had a great experience. And we do that with uh, our RCH Racing uh, activation rig. You know, yep. if if it, when they when the people leave they're like man you know that one of the coolest things was was so we take that mentality and try to give it to the amateur racers and uh, you know these these people uh, these people work hard and spend their hard-earned dollar and we want to give it uh, we want to stretch that dollar out as much as we can and give them a fantastic experience